All right, so perhaps I'm a little bit ambitious for uh, trying to finish this recording in nine minutes, all right, before the bell rings, but uh, I think I can give it a try. Okay, so what are we talking about here? Unit seven, lesson four, combining like terms. Now, I think you all know what combining means. So that's the, so this is the question. What are like terms, right? So what are like terms? Like terms, think of like terms like this. Now, in class, we use the example of a family, right? So I had uh, a couple of students come up to the board and they have to group people by their families. So in math, in algebra specifically, what's a, what's a, what's a family, right? Quote, unquote. So what's a family? Same exact variables with the exact same exponents. Okay, so that's a family. So I'm going to use this as an example. So group these shapes by family. How many different families are there? Take a look. Right, three different families, right? Who are the three different families? One, we got the triangle family. What's the second family? Right, the circle family. And what's the last family? Right, the square family. So combining like terms is something like this. Now, I, I'm taking this from a video we saw in class, but I think this does as good a job as any other. How many triangles are there? How many family members? How many triangle family members are there? Right, there's three, right? So you can write like that. Three triangles. How many circle family members are there? There's three of them also, right? One, two, three. And then how many square families are there? Only one, right? So the square's by himself, all right? So, and then we could just put them together like this. Now, that's not a zero, by the way, okay? That's, that's three circles. So that's it. So this... Turning this group of symbols of uh, members will, will give you this as a family, all right? Or, or ordering them by families, okay? So now, one more thing. What's a term, right? So this is a one-term expression. Why? Because it's got a number here that's called a coefficient. Here we got a variable. Okay, this is gonna go past nine minutes. And what do you think this little number here is called? If you remember, right, that's an exponent. Okay, so again, remember, right? Same exact variable, same exact exponent in order, in order for them to be a family. Okay, so looking at this one, all right, I gotta go turn the lights back on. All right, and the lights are back, back on. So here we got two terms, why? Because it's separated by a plus sign or a minus sign. So anytime a term or terms, when they're separated, they're only separated by a subtraction sign or addition sign. So got that? So it's not, it's not multiplication division because multiplication, I mean, think about this, right? If you take multiplication, two times x, what's that? That's two x, that's one term. Here, you can't really add them. You can't add x squared plus five. So the plus sign then indicates that there are two terms here. This indicates there are three terms here, one, two, three. And this one, one, two, three, four, indicates there are four terms, okay? All right, so now, having said that, by the way, so this lesson, I had to, I had to cut a couple of things out because I, I just, I want to cover what I want to cover without going into like, all sorts of tangents and side topics. So when you look at this first, so look at example one. When you look at this first, the question you should always ask yourself is, hey, are, are the terms here in the same family? Now, what do you think? Are these two terms in the same family? 
Yeah, right? Why? Because they both have the same exact letter, meaning like that's A, so this is not B, for example. This is not A, B, that's a different family, right? So if there are 10 A's, now also think about it like this. Let's say A stands for apples, right? So if you have 10 apples and you got another plus five apples, how many total apples will you have? Right, no brainer, 15 apples, right? So 15A, okay? So, right, same family, same exponent. By the way, the exponent, even though it doesn't say anything here, if it doesn't say anything, it means the exponent is one. So same exponent, so 10A plus 5A, 15A, okay? What about this one? Who's in the same family? That's right, this guy, right? So in class, I gave you this uh, method. You draw a shape around it, yeah. Right, and that's in a different family. So I'm gonna use the different shape. So that's a plus, by the way. So, so now, by the way, uh, there's, a, there's a standard way of doing this. You always do uh, the letter that comes first alphabetically. So 10X plus 5X, what's that? 15X, kind of like this one, right? And then what's left? The three Y, okay. All right. Now, what about this one? Who's in the same family? All right, this guy and this guy. All right, who else? This guy. So you see, how I'm using different shapes, right, to represent the family. Also, uh, besides alphabetically, the higher the exponent, the higher the order. So that comes first. So two x squared plus six x squared. So how many x squares are there? Right. 8x squared plus 7y. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what about, oh, these are not in the same family. All right, that's not good. So let me use a different shape. I'll use a triangle. All right, so plus 4x plus 7y. Okay, all right, one more. So how about these? Right, same family. Right, y squared family, right? That's where they are. How about the other guys? Yep, these two, same family also. So two y squared plus six y squared. So how many y squares are there? Eight y squared plus four y plus seven y plus four y, right? So these two from the same family, what would that be? 11 y, okay? All right. So feel free to rewind also. I know I'm going slightly faster than usual. Okay, all right, try these on your own. So press pause. Okay, and we're back. So, right, same family. But you gotta take this sign with you. That goes in the front. So that's 8x minus 2x, what's that? 6x, and then you got this guy who's left, plus y, okay? Looking good. Uh, two more. Got the x family, same family. Let's scan across, so always scan across left to right, okay? Yep, same family. And the y's are in the same family. So uh, 14x minus 3x, what would that be? Right here, 11x, right? So 11x plus 3x, what's that? 14x, right? Now look at this very carefully, look at this very carefully. 2y minus y, now, you might think that's two because you're taking away the y, right? No. There is a one here. So two y minus one y, what would that be? Right, one y, or you can just write 14 x plus y. Okay, this is better. Okay, one last one, look at this one. Look at this one real good. What do you think? What's the answer? Is it 15 y, 15 x, 15 x y? It's none of those, trick question. This is already in what we call simplest form. So imagine if you're reducing a fraction, right? And I give you this, what do you say? Yeah, I can't reduce this any further, simplest form. So is this, this is simplest form. Why? Because X and Y not in the same family. So you can combine them, so don't combine them. Okay, all right, so that's that, wow, I did it. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, thanks for watching, bye-bye.
OMG, that was so good.